Welcome to what could quite possibly become an ongoing series. In this video, I will be making a pen out of Jatoba wood, while I spew forth with various facts and general knowledge about the wood. If that does not sound appealing to you, I have a far better video linked in the right corner right now, so go watch that instead. Jatoba is probably more commonly known by the name Brazilian cherry, which is interesting because it isn't particularly related to a cherry tree. It is actually far more closely related to a locust tree than a cherry tree. That is because Jatoba is part of the Fabaceae family, which is a family of flowering plants easily recognized by their fruit, legumes, probably a word you're already familiar with. Well-known legumes are beans, peanuts, and lentils. Even though it is certainly not cherry, this Brazilian cherry tree does in fact grow in Brazil. It natively grows almost exclusively in Mexico and further down into Central and South America. And here is where we come to yet another silly name for this tree. This tree is also called the West Indian Locust. And while it has been found in the West Indies, it is not nearly as common there as it is in South America. It was the second to last on a list of over 50 geographical locations where this tree grows. At least they got the locust part right. One final name for this tree, stinking toe, given to it because of the wretched smell of the fruit. Though apparently edible, it is said to smell horrible and I probably wouldn't recommend ingesting anything that involves the word toe in it. I don't have much else to say about this name, other than that the research for this topic was dodgy and came to a sudden end because I kept getting rubbish that I didn't want. Jatoba wood is incredibly hard. It places 11th out of 92 species in the Janka test. The Janka test is actually a very intriguing and rather extensive test, done to categorize various wood species by their hardness, and I may do a video dedicated to just that in the future. For now, just know that Jatoba is one of the most dense woods in the world. That being said, it is often avoided by professional cabinet and woodworking shops simply because of how much it wears down the machines. That didn't stop me! In my research, I may have stumbled across the reason as to why the tree is called Brazilian cherry, despite not being particularly related to a cherry tree. I say not particularly related because they are both trees, so they must be somewhat related. The color of Jatoba often matches the color of black cherry heartwood, and I would have to say I agree. It is a very lovely deep reddish brown. And now that that mystery has been solved, allow me to ramble about potential videos in the future for just a moment. There are over seven species of trees in the world, maybe a lot more, and I really enjoy making pens, as well as researching the wood I am using. I could very easily turn this into a monthly series where I make a pen and describe the wood I am using and where it came from. If you like this style of video and this idea seems okay to you, please like the video. And if you really like this idea, leave me a comment expressing such energy. Also, I cannot come up with an interesting and accurate title for what this series could be. So if you have any ideas, please share them because I am completely lost. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Here's a rabbit to get the video to an even four minutes. See you later.